We're going to go to dissolve, enable dissolve, change it to a continuous speed of one. Hit play so we can see what's happening. Change the dissolve color to alpha all the way. And get a dissolve noise. What am I doing wrong? Uh, there is a gradient, I did. I'm just gonna take a picture of this because I'm not gonna remember. Oh, I need to turn on cutout. That's why it's not working. Uh, Blender is for making the 3D models. You do not make games inside of Blender. You only make the 3D models or maybe animations and uh, like videos you can render but it's not for making games. It's a part of making a game because you need 3D models to make a 3D game. Uh, but Blender itself does not make games. Unity is where you can code and make games. Okay, so now that has the same settings. Hello, CL Slime. So I'm going to do dissolves again, and if you want to learn how to do dissolves, watch! <laughs> um, I want my animations to be in the animation folder. They'll just be here. So I'm going to go to animation, create. Since I had that folder selected, it'll automatically go to that folder. And we're going to do Miku off, because I, it's called a Miku, which is what I just found out. And so the first animation I make is the one where it's going to be displaying as off. I'm going to turn on my record key. Go up here to the shrine mating clothing. And first thing I'm going to record is unchecking this. And then I'm just going to check it back on. So now it's added here um, on my affected items list. And then I'm going to scroll down to emission. Um, I right click this real quick because I didn't right click it before, but in Poyomi you have to right click items that you want to animate after they get locked. 
Um, so you want to make sure that you have this little stopwatch lock next to your dissolve alpha. Um, and then you want to hit the record button, right? You want the record to take the dissolve. So we're going to start at zero. So we got all the information we needed. We got the mesh being toggled and the dissolve value. So you want the, the mesh to be on to begin with and the dissolve value at zero. You're gonna copy your keyframe at zero and bring it all the way to the one at the end. So it goes for a full uh, second, I believe. And you wanna uncheck the mesh here and change this value to one. And then when you hit play, it dissolves. All right, so your next animation, you want to copy the ending value here, create a new clip, and we're going to call it Miku on. And with this on, it's going to be to be checked on here and starting at one. Ignore this, it's going to loop because it's set to loop. Paste your values here and set this to zero and make it checked on. So now when you hit play, it comes back. So you need it on for here. Checked on value one, which means it's invisible. On this end, you need it to stay checked on in value zero. So it goes to the dissolve uh, look. That stays on. Copy this one and create a new animation. And this is going to be called Miku State. The state is the state you want the item to be in when you load into the model. And I want it to be checked on and the dissolve off. So it just stays like this. And that's all the, you need to make for the animations are those three animations. We can get out of play mode to go back here. I'm going to delete the animator it created because I don't need it. It'll create an animator whenever you create an animation. Thank you, the real Prismidian. Have a good day. Then we got to go to our animators and this is going to be on our FX layer. On the FX layer, uh, well, first we need to add the uh, parameter. So I'm going to add a parameter and I'm going to call it Miku toggle. We're going to make it a bool and the default value is going to be uh, false. So don't check it off. We do want to have it saved, which means it'll save every time you load into the model. It'll save the last value that you had instead of resetting. So you can just look the same at all times. Then we're going to go to um, the FX layer. On the FX layer, we're going to add that parameter as a pool, and it's called Miku Toggle. This needs to be the exact same spelling and uppercase, lowercase, whatever case you use. Uh, I'm just going to put this up here because that's kind of where my toggles are. And you want to make sure that it's not checked right now. So in the layers, um, I'm going to add a new layer, and I'm just going to call it Miku Toggle. And just for organization's sake, I'm going to put it up here next to the clothing toggle. And we're going to add those three animations we made. Miku off, Miku on, Miku stay. Just drag and drop them in here. You want off to be on the bottom left, on on the bottom right, and stay on the top center. Right click state and set it as a default state. You want to make a transition between all three. And then you want to go, th go through and make sure right defaults is off on all three. Um, and at this point, uh, all you really need to do is select the transition from state to Miku off, add Miku toggle. And if it's set to true, it'll go to off. Go to the second one, add the Miku toggle. If it's set to false, it'll go to on. I know it's a little bit backwards, but it's how you make the menu look good. Then you also want to go through and you don't want to have an exit time on the state to off and from off to on, you don't want to have exit time. You leave it on between on and state because you're not using any variable. 
So then that should be all set up. We need to make sure the weight is set to one. And then I have an FX mask. You don't need to always use this. I'm using this because I'm animating bones on the ears. So I need to use that here on every single um, FX layer. So now we go to our animators again, go to our menu. We should be able to add this control. Miku toggle. Make it a toggle. Go here to Miku toggle bool. And we should be able to turn on the emulator, hit play. And now here, we should be able to click Miku toggle. I need to do one more thing, but now it's working. Make sure that your animations are not set to loop because they do not need to loop for this to work. Now if we hit play again, I'll open the animator so we can we can see what's happening. All right, so now it's in state. The state is on. We want her to be in her on state. When we hit the toggle, it goes to true. It turns this off. It loops this around until it's ready to go back to on. And then when it's ready to go back to on, it does the animation and then plops it over here. And that's how you do a dissolve toggle.